Alright, this might be a bit of a boring video, but hopefully someone who's rebuilding their... Two the 2002 pedal box, hopefully it helps. Here's how I did it. Stop! No, 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 twist it! I am! No, 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 I suppose I kind of cheated having the engine and transmission out makes this job super easy, but essentially to remove the pedal box, there are the bolts you just saw, after removing the carpet, of course, and then there's a bigger bolt closer to the brake booster, and we have a few brake lines going to the master cylinder, as well as the throttle linkage, and your clutch line as well. So it's a pretty simple procedure to rebuild one of these. You're basically just taking it apart and putting new bushings in. The kit comes with new foam, new springs as well. But before I take it apart, I actually take quite a few pictures. Take nice clear pictures where the springs go and just kind of how it's mounted. It's really not that complex, but it takes the guesswork out of it when you're reassembling it anyway. But I take it all apart and then I sent all the, the pedals, the box itself, to powder coating and all the hardware actually is sent off to get plated. So it's just a matter of putting it back together. So here it's laid out, here are all the components. Everything was actually in really good shape. They, I think it, it would only really need to get rebuilt if it was like a super high mileage car, but since I had it apart anyway, it's like may as well redo the foam. And at this point too, I redid the floors. You can watch the rest video here. That was kind of fun. But yeah, at this point it's Time to organize all the hardware. This was all the hardware in one shot I got plated, so it was actually quite a bit of organizing. And here's the result of said powder coating and plating. Got all the bushings laid out, all the hardware laid out. This is going to be quite a bit of fun to put back together. It turns out there is a bit of a sequence to putting the pedal box back together. I learned about this my favorite way, the hard way. The first step is to put the clutch master cylinder in, and you may as well snug that nice and tight now. The next step is to put the pedals in. After the fresh bushings are in, then you can push the big bolt through the one pedal. Don't forget the little spacer in between. Then you can add the clutch pedal, and don't forget the spring when you push the bolt all the way through. This is what I forgot actually. So once done correctly, it should look like this. So the spring should actually hold it nicely back. And then we have the clutch master cylinder there, the bolt through there. Should uh, should feel nice too. Make sure to grease that up as well before you put it together. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm doing that now. It is easier to do it before you get the pedals in the way. But at least now you can tighten up the pedals. Next, we mate the master cylinder back to the pedal. We snug it up and then move on to the throttle pedal bushings. Now a lot of the bushings seem to go in nice and easy, but I have cleaned up all the edges after it gets powder coated. Sometimes there's like a little bit of just powder coating, almost overspray, whatever you want to call it. But these guys just slide right in with a little bit of polyurethane. You'll notice I reinstalled the throttle pedal. Um, I actually ended up taking it out later. It's just so much easier to maneuver the pedal box into the firewall if there's no throttle pedal, because you can actually just add it in later. But the next step is to add the rubber bushing and some of the brake linkage parts. And don't forget the spring, of course. I now put on the rubber pedal pads. I should mention as well that this pedal box rebuild kit is available from Bluntec. There is a plug on the side to be installed as well as this tiny grommet. And there we have it. Looks much better now. Very satisfying little project. The powder coating and plating makes it look brand new again. And, well, the pedal pads are a nice addition. They'll definitely look good in the car. So, for reinstalling, I use a bit of auto body sealer to mate the pedal box to the firewall. As you can see, the throttle pedal is out and the whole pedal box assembly goes in quite smoothly. One thing I did wrong was to add the foam after install. It's way easier to glue the foam on when the pedal box is out. And the last step is to add the spring and throttle pedal and you were done. I hope this helps one. Thanks for watching.